Welcome to Dr. Robert Bard's 2020 Educational Series on Cancer Diagnostic Imaging. This webinar presentation is brought to you in part by HealthScan News, the New York Cancer Resource Alliance, the Angio Foundation, and the Genomic Research Publishing Team at ImmunologyFirst.org. Dr. Bard is one of the top experts and educators in the science of modern medical scanning and quantitative imaging. He has published countless medical texts on this topic and often appears in science news and broadcast reports about cancer tumor analysis. This video is an abridged version of his comprehensive report on the current medical imaging technologies available to track and monitor pancreatic cancer. This and others in his series have been presented in national medical cancer forums during the fall of 2020. You can access the complete transcript of this entire seminar from the link below this video. In patients with a family history of genetic cancers, or those who are high risk for pancreatic tumors, having the latest innovations and resource for identifying and tracking these tumors makes all the difference in every part of the treatment process. We're trying to avoid radiation and biopsies at any time, so we use ultrasound screening as our first line of imaging to scan the pancreas. If there's anything suspicious that shows up, we then employ the special scanning feature that tracks the hardness of the tumor. If a tumor is benign, they generally are soft and cancers are generally rock hard. If the ultrasound elastic component demonstrates very hard tissue and hence the high probability of cancer that needs to be biopsied, then we go ahead and go more invasively. The yellow eye is jaundice and that's often the first sign of cancer of the head of the pancreas because it blocks the green bile duct. You can see the rest of the pancreas is not connected to the bile duct, so cancer in these clinically silent areas often have no symptoms until it causes severe pain from wrapping around the blood vessels and nerves in the middle of the body or has metastasized. In this single shot sonogram, the head of the pancreas is labeled with two arrows. The body in the middle lies over the big blood vessel, the aorta, which we can see in seconds with high accuracy. With very thin people, you get great images of the pancreas and in very heavy set people, we often have to resort to special imaging with ultrasound. More commonly, CT is considered the main way of imaging the pancreas in general practice. As I mentioned, the vascular landmarks are key because the pancreas surrounds the great vessels shown in red and the stomach sits right above the neck of the pancreas. This is like a slice down the middle of the body. So it's a different orientation. You need two orientations in any imaging procedure to localize the cancer and triangulate the effects of the cancer on the adjacent organs. Surgical landmarks show the liver on top and the arrows indicate the central duct of the pancreas. This is not the bile duct. This is the pancreatic duct, which is different. In this case, a simple ultrasound over the abdomen shows that it's two millimeters thick, as thin as a dime. Note the teardrop black vena cava, which is the huge vein in the center. Again, the vessels are the key factors because tumors that invade tend to block the great vessels. Often the first sign of a cancer in the body, neck or tail of the pancreas shows up as a lump in the neck, a mass under the arm, or a painful feeling in the groin. These are lymph nodes. Lymph nodes can be staged according to the classic criteria. Once you find that a mass contains lymph nodes, we have to see if it's an abnormal lymph node, and then what part of the lymph node is abnormal. So the ultrasound is the simplest way to study the lymph nodes. Because the sonogram can target the biopsy, we can check which part of the mass are accessible from the skin surface. Using dye or contrast is another way to look at the tumor vascular flow, which is the best marker of cancer aggression. This is so important that when we treat cancers, we use the blood flow to see if whatever treatment you're using has killed them off, such as in freezing or radiation or with the new laser treatments.